Good afternoon, Supervisor, Council Members, Honorees, and Guests. Welcome to the 2021 Town of Hempstead Pathfinder Award Ceremony, honoring some wonderful, energetic, devoted, and certainly deserving women of our township. A trailblazer in her own right, Kate Murray was the first woman to be elected supervisor of the town of Hempstead, as well as town clerk during her first stint in the position over 20 years ago, and as assemblywoman of the 19th Assembly District. A proud resident of Levittown, Kate led the town of Hempstead as supervisor for over 12 years. Prior to her career in government, Kate advocated for women serving for the Suffolk University Battered Women's Advocacy Project where she represented victims of domestic violence. Kate also served as an assistant attorney general in the criminal justice section handling prisoner litigation. Kate has returned to lead the town clerk's office, which has been a model for municipal offices across Long Island in providing essential services throughout the pandemic in a safe and innovative manner. I am proud to introduce our town clerk, Kate Murray. Thank you. It is so delightful to be here once again at our wonderful Pathfinder Awards, and uh, I'm just delighted to be part of the Don Cleveland team, and this is going to be a great afternoon because we have great, great women who we are honoring today. Well, I want to thank Joni Blen for that wonderful introduction. Uh, she, of course, is a great longtime Town of Hempstead resident, uh, employee and resident, of course, and was a recipient of the town's Make a Difference Award in 2000. We are certainly happy to have her helping us with today's program. Thank you, Joni. Well, I want to welcome all of our 2021 Pathfinder Award recipients to this very special program today, and to all our viewers who are viewing and watching this ceremony online. Welcome to all of you. Now in the pavilion today, we have a very, very small socially distanced uh, group that includes today's honorees. And each honoree gets to bring one very special uh, guest each. And of course, we also have our members of the town board led by our supervisor, Don Clavin, who you will hear, will hear from later on. Well, we truly hope we can join together once again next year and resume our events as normal. I say hope and expect to. And, but I'm so pleased that despite the fact that we all still have to stay uh, socially distant from one another and wear our masks except when we're speaking away from everybody, uh, but we, I'm so glad that we were able to host this event uh, uh, nonetheless. Now two of the things that stand out about the unexpected events of these past 12 months are courage and perseverance in my humble opinion. The uncertainty of the COVID-19 pandemic that tragically struck our township, our region, our nation, and indeed the world presented challenges that our society has not endured in over a century. Right here in the town of Hempstead, I was and am still I'm very, very proud to work alongside a team of the best and brightest to navigate us through this pandemic. Since March of 2020, the Town of Hempstead uh, Town Clerk's Office, and if I could take a moment of uh, personal privilege, I just want to uh, thank them. They su so successfully provided the residents of America's largest township uh, with uninterrupted essential services from day one in a safe and efficient manner. Whether it was the registrar team that worked so bravely in the darkest of times last spring, processing death certificates at a horrifying uh, pace due to the tragic impact of coronavirus pandemic, or working with our marriage department that was dedicated to serving couples by instituting a drive-through, a curbside marriage license program to our licensing and passport teams and to everybody within the town of Hempstead, the workforce I'm referring to. We all pulled together, we worked hard and long to bring sunlight to a dark period while serving our residents each and every day. It's perseverance and courage that were in the hearts and minds of the leaders of the women's suffrage movement over a century ago. Unfortunately, we were unable to uh, celebrate last year, 2020, which was the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment, which of course gave women the right to vote. It took generations of women over 100 years to win that battle for the right to vote, and we succeeded. That success was thanks to leaders like Susan B. Anthony, Alice Paul, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and so many others. 
Now it is over 100 years later, and women have certainly made leaps and bounds as leaders of society, from people like Amelia Earhart and her solo nonstop transatlantic flight in 1932, to Rosa Parks' bravery and fortitude as a civil rights leader in the 1960s, and all of the women who have followed, we have so much to be proud of. Well, now I will introduce a very, very special lady, very special person who has certainly blazed her own trail as the first African-American woman to serve on the town board, and as a renowned leader for equality and voters' rights, as well as a wonderful, wonderful person and a, such a strong leader of her councilmatic district. I will now ask Senior Councilwoman Dorothy Goosby to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Dorothy? Good evening, or good afternoon, whichever one it is. It's kind of early, it's three o'clock, so it could be afternoon, but I like good evening as well. So thank you all for coming, and certainly, as Kate has said, it's been a hard year for all of us, but we're here. And it's wonderful that we're able to do this program the way we are doing it. We've had two programs that we, we're learning pretty good. I think the supervisor has been here for all of them, so he knows the difference. I'm proud to be to watch to worship and not only make sure that we acknowledge the wonderful women that we have here today and highlight all the things that you've done for us to be able to honor you. I look forward to this ceremony today. <clears throat> we'll, we'll be able to recognize the trailblazing accomplishments of our honorees. I proudly serve as the councilwoman of this town of Hempstead for more than 20 years. This Pathfinder event has always been special to me because I consider myself to be something of a Pathfinder. To be a Pathfinder is to be a leader, and each one of our honorees today have demonstrated leadership qualities through their dedication to our community. Hempstead Town is the proud home of a number of extraordinary women. I am grateful to have this opportunity to recognizing the outstanding women of our township. I am especially proud of Ms. Shante Carter, the honor, honoree from my district, who has not only made a name for herself, but has helped, helped build up other women from our community. A professional registered nurse and a best-selling author, Mrs. Carter understands the importance of helping out her fellow women. And that's exactly the reason she's here today. And I must say, I'm so proud of the fact with the young ladies in my district who sometimes families cannot afford to buy the wonderful dresses that they wear to the prom or the shoes or the jewelry and have their hair done and so forth, and they go out looking like a queen. That is due to Mrs. Car Ms. Carter and those who work with her. Except this year, we are not going to be able to do it. Last year, we weren't able to do it. But the kids were really happy, and that's what she's done on her own with the group that she has founded. This, and there's one other person here that I know very well, and I was very happy to see her in the town board meeting the other day. That is Miss Rosalie Norton. I happen to know them personally. She's been a long time fighter for West Hempstead, and don't get in her way. I know her husband knows that you don't get in her way. She's a wonderful person, but she makes sure she gets things done. She's well known, a well known name to every local elected official, as she is not afraid to reach out regarding developments in her neighborhood, something she has done for decades. Thanks to her efforts, that we have improved our community in a multitude of ways. We have plenty of honorees here today that are well deserving of the Pathfinder Award, and I'm excited to hear all about all of them. I would like to, at this time, introduce um, Donna, Donna Clavin, <laughs> who assisted the town of Hempstead host this event under the, prop, the proper precautions because he understands how important it is. Okay, to keep this pro program moving along, I'd like to introduce and welcome 
Supervisor Don Clavin. Thank you, uh, Senior Councilwoman Goosby, and I just want everybody to know right from the beginning, if the Councilwoman wants to be the evening, then I'll change the clocks to make sure it's the evening, whatever, whatever the Councilwoman uh, prefers. Uh, first off, let me congratulate all of you, our honorees. Uh, it's such a, a great time to be here. You know, unfortunately, last year, because of the pandemic, we, we couldn't have this, this celebration. This year, even though it is a little, little in-house and virtual, it's great to, to be together and, and be with all of you and really, you know what, acknowledge your accomplishments for what you do in your community, uh, you know what, what you do uh, to help people in your communities, to be advocates in your communities, or the, the simple things of, you know, being an advocate for, for bettering your community. Uh, I'd also like to take the time to, to thank my town board members and friends, uh, you know, all of them that joined us here today. And it's a real honor always to speak after Senior Councilwoman Goosby and uh, Kate Murray. You know, uh, you talk about two leaders, two individuals that, you know, broke barriers here in the town of Hempstead, uh, two strong women who, you know what, are dedicated to public service, helping people. We really are very fortunate to have them as elected officials. And more importantly, I'm very fortunate to also call them my friends. So uh, on behalf of us, we're lucky to have you. Thank the both of you. You know, the, the, the Pathfinder Award is a, is a great time and, and recognition of, of everyone here. And, and we're going to hear uh, a little bit about all of, you, all of you. And sometimes it's a little humbling. You know, sometimes you, you don't want to go, you know, toot your own horn or bang it on your chest. But, you know, this is really the opportunity for us to say thank you. Uh, and we're really excited about this. But before, before we do so, we also have a, a really a very special uh, guest speaker here today. Um, when the pandemic hit, you know, so many things were taking place. And, and with my colleagues on the town board, uh, we tried to, and I think we accomplished doing some great things, particularly when it came to the CARES funding, where we really were, you know, sat down, talked about the things that we could do for the betterment of everybody. You know, Councilwoman Goosby's district, one of the hardest hit, if not the, he, the hardest hit, she was a tremendous advocate for installing, you know, many services, really benefiting people. You know. Let it be with all the board members putting up food pantries where we were able to feed over a million people last year, um, where we were then able to create testing where we tested thousands of people uh, for COVID-19, supporting our hospitals, you know, our, for, our essential workers. It was really a team effort of all of my colleagues. And, and Kate can, can you know, very humbly say you know, uh, what, what she's done, but what Kate Murray uh, was able to accomplish in the clerk's office last year uh, when many people were battening down the hatches and hiding and staying in their homes. Kate, Kate and her entire workforce, like so many others we work with her in the town, came here. And Kate had the, the foresight to sort of reinvent her operations, where she's outside, where she was, had performed hundreds of weddings, if not how many? We have worked about 700. 700 weddings during the pandemic, as well as the, all the other essential services. And, the, and it's a really, it's a credit to her. Uh, you know what, her, her, you know, her years of service and being able to think outside the box and Senior Councilwoman Goosby and all the board members. But our, in, our keynote speaker today is uh, Dr. Debbie Salas-Lopez uh, of the Northwell Health. Uh, she's our keynote speaker. She's serving right now as the Senior Vice President of Community and Population Health for Northwell Health. The special thing about Dr. Dr. Lopez is when the pandemic started, um, she really teamed up with the town of Hempstead. She took the time with everything else she has going on, and she helped put forth programs here in the town that frankly saved lives. It was working with her that we were able to do diagnostic testing in every community in the town with a harder look in some of the harder hit areas. In addition to that, PCR testing, we were also able to accomplish that with, with the doctor's advice and guidance. Uh, and I know she's a keynote speaker and I have so many great things to say about her, but really, when it comes to what she was able to do just last year with the town of Hempstead residents and, and helping give us that, that foresight and ideas of how to get into every community, how to make sure that we used faith-based organizations and community leaders to get involved with these programs to make sure people were getting tested. And it was just an incredible time. And we're very, very fortunate to, to have her as our keynote speaker today. Uh, as many of you may not know, she's also the Long Island Regional Health Equity Task Force Director. What does that mean? You know, she provides not only the help, but she's also the leading force in getting these vaccinations out in every part of this region. 
it's a heavy responsibility, and she does an amazing job with it. You know, we're, we're blessed to work with her last year, and, and I'll tell you, she's transformative uh, of everything she's done. Recently, she was just recognized a speaker and educator named Modern Healthcare's Top 25 Women Leaders. Um, she recently also received the 2021 Tribute of Excellence in Healthcare Award for the United Hospital Fund. She's, she, is, she is passionate, um, super insightful, and really when it comes to what's transpired in the last year, you know, talk about somebody who is a, the right keynote speaker to have. Uh, that is my honor to uh, please introduce Dr. Debbie Salas Lopez and thank her very much for being here today uh, and also for her service to the town of Hempstead. Thank you. Good afternoon. Congratulations to the Pathfinder honorees, Shantae Carter, Rosalie Norton, Marge Kelly, Shara Brule, Donna J. Belly, Eleanor Walsh, and special award nominee, Nicole Robinson. After more than a year of dealing with what has clearly been the worst public health crisis in our lifetime, I suspect we all feel like that marathon runner at the 26 mile mark. We're exhausted, we're hurting, but we can see the finish line. So we try to keep plodding along to complete this race and we will complete it. As all consuming as the pandemic has been on healthcare providers, we know the emotional, physical, and financial toll that COVID-19 has taken on our individual families, our communities, and of course our businesses. So many residents of the town of Hempstead have seen loved ones get sick, pass away, lose their jobs, basically see their quality of life ruined by a disease we never heard of 15 months ago. Our children have spent most of the past year socially isolated as they work valiantly to get the most of their formal education in a remote learning environment. But as difficult as this past year has been, we take great personal pride in the work we've been doing at Northwell and with the town of Hempstead. At Northwell, we've been caring for more than 180,000 coronavirus patients here in Long Island and through our metropolitan area. We've greatly expanded our knowledge and our understanding of how best to treat those that were sickened by the virus. And in fact, we're actively involved in various and numerous clinical research trials to understand therapies that may help us respond more effectively to future strains in the future. We've been working very closely with county executives, health officials in Nassau and Suffolk counties in distributing the COVID-19 vaccine. To date, we've administered more than 200,000 doses of Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccine to our community members and healthcare workers throughout the metropolitan area a pace that has been rapidly expanding in recent weeks. We've been especially proud to have partnered with the town of Hempstead last year in providing diagnostic and antibody testing, which enabled us to get a clearer picture of the communities that were affected by COVID. As most of you know, the picture that emerged was that communities of color had had the disproportionate share of this illness, and in fact, died at higher rates than other communities. As we move past the darkest days of this pandemic, one of the commitments that Northwell has made as an organization is to address the underlying causes of the health disparities that have existed for a long time right here in Long Island and elsewhere in our service area. While personal life choices are a component, what's emerging is that the major factor in the determining someone's overall health is the sad, the sad truth is their social environment, the economic conditions within our communities. That's the biggest driver of health inequity. Things like access to good jobs, a quality education, safe and affordable housing, supermarkets, access to healthy foods, and of course, access to high quality healthcare. Those are all factors that contribute to the overall health of our communities. As a society, we need to recognize the white elephant in the room to stop ignoring the systemic problems that have led to the high prevalence of chronic illnesses within our communities, particularly our communities of color. 
illnesses such as diabetes, hypertension, and obesity. Getting to the bottom of the problem and reversing health inequities that have existed for generations will not be an easy feat. We will not do that in a few weeks, a few months, or even a few years. But here's what the COVID experience has taught us. Even with the magnitude of this crisis that we just endured, it's actually hardened our resolve to tackle the problem head on. As we did last year with our COVID testing, the outreach, the education we did, the distribution of face masks and other personal protective equipment to keep Hempstead residents safe, Northwell is again looking forward to working with Supervisor Clavin, members of the town, faith-based leaders, town board members, other community leaders, and of course, community members to identify and implement solutions to health inequality. I'm energized and confident about our prospects for meaningful progress based on our work in the past few months. I'm also chairing the Health Equity Task Force, of which Supervisor Clavin is a member. We've met some incredibly hardworking, passionate individuals here in Hempstead and throughout Long Island who are committed to making a difference. We believe working collaboratively and collectively, we have the ability to engage with the residents of this town in ways that will prepare us better for future public health emergencies and of course provide education on embracing healthier lifestyles. Again, I thank Supervisor Clavin, town board members for their leadership, community leaders, and I'm looking forward to working with all of you in the future. Well, thank you to Dr. Debbie Salas Lopez for her keynote speech and for her service to our communities. And now to our honorees. And first up, we have Shara Brell. Every year since 2008, the Tommy Brell Foundation has raised funds to benefit a wide variety of people living with physical, mental, and emotional disabilities in our community. Serving as secretary to this charitable organization, it is no wonder that Shara Brell of Rockville Center has joined the prestigious ranks of the Town of Hempstead Pathfinder honorees. Despite COVID-19 putting a damper on most fundraising efforts, the Tommy Brell Foundation has continued to excel in their charitable collections thanks to the efforts of Shara and the other volunteers of the organization. Just recently, the the foundation hosted their 13th annual fundraiser, which had been reimagined into a virtual live stream telethon. A wholesome night of music, raffles, and guest speakers. The event was a great success, and the organization raised $45,000 that will be donated to help local individuals living with disabilities and their families. Throughout the foundation's existence, Shara has been a driving force behind the organization has been a, and has been a major factor in its resounding success. The efforts of Shara do not stop there, however, as she is also an adamant force on the Wilson Elementary School PTA, taking her fundraising know-how and applying it by leading activities such as the Winter Coat Drive and the end of the year student competition games. What's more, she has served as a coordinator for everyone's favorite Girl Scout activity, cookie sales. Whether it's raising money for those living with handicaps or organizing an event for her local school district, Shara's heart is always in the right place and her mind is always focused on the well-being of others. The town of Hempstead is fortunate to be home to such a caring individual and is proud to award Shara Brell with the 2021 Pathfinder Award. And now we have Shantae Carter of Hempstead. For Shantae Carter, helping others is, is more than just a job. It's her passion and her purpose. From her, from her day job as a dedicated nurse to leading a thriving nonprofit organization that she founded, this Hempstead resident leads by example and lets her caring nature guide her path. A heroic frontline worker, Shantae has served as an orthopedic and trauma nurse at Northwell Health for nearly a decade. We salute Shantae, putting her own health and safety on the line to help others throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Ten years ago, Shantae also founded Women of Integrity, 
an organization that seeks to empower and educate women of all ages and ethnicities. Of particular note is the organization's prom dress drive and makeover project, which provides young women with many of the often expensive materials needed for their high school proms. In Shantae's own words, she states, I believe that what you put out in life, you get back. So if you put out positivity, then you will get back positivity. It's our job to give back in any way we can. Now more than ever, we need women like Shantae to help keep spirits up during these challenging times. America's largest township is proud to pre present Shantae Carter with the 2021 Town of Hempstead Pathfinder Award. Next up, we have Donna Jabali. Donna has been a Seaford resident for 30 years. She is a proud mother of a 17-year-old son and a boy and girl 14-year-old twins. Even with her hands full, she is heavily involved in school as a Seaford High School aide and an active member of the PTA. Donna is also a participant of the Seaford Chamber of Commerce and Kiwanis organizations. Due to COVID-19, the many normal actions of these groups were stymied, but that did not stop Donna. She took it upon herself and started a fundraiser last year, which began with one food delivery for a local hospital and blossomed into taking in all amounts of donations. As time went on, $11,500 was raised. Donna used these funds to buy food from struggling local businesses. She provided the food to our frontline healthcare workers, group homes, local fire departments, and more. From that one delivery, kindness spread throughout the neighborhood and resulted in 50 deliveries. It was a win-win situation. Donna is currently working on a Seaford Makers Market to, to showcase the creations of home-based businesses. This market will consist of 20 to 30 vendors providing their own crafts. It will be a mask-enforced, socially distanced event, which will take place on five Saturdays starting May 15th. Because Seaford's traditional Easter egg hunt is not possible this year, Donna is working on an upcoming Easter goodie bag giveaway. Donna is a revered woman and strives toward bettering the lives of all the residents in her community. We are proud to present Donna Jabali with the 2021 Town of Hempstead Pathfinder Award. Margaret Kelly's commitment to serving others in every capacity possible is a constant theme throughout her life. Marge has long embraced her role as a force for positive change in the town of Hempstead, assuming leadership roles in such organizations as the Order Sons of Italy in America, where she works to assist local students as chair of the America Lodge 2245 Scholarship Committee. Marge has also channeled her willingness to serve during her tenure as president of the Community League of Garden City South, where she organizes neighborhood events and acts as a voice for neighbors. In addition to her civic involvement, Marge previously wore the uniform of a first responder as an EMT in the Franklin Square and Munson Fire Department, where she responded to emergency calls and assisted neighbors in need. While a hometown hero in her own right, Marge's deep care for America's veterans is apparent through her commitment to Franklin Square VFW Post 2718 Auxiliary, where she helps returned warriors in a holistic way as first vice president. Supporting America's defenders also is close to home. Marge founded a Marine Mom Support Group, Long Island Leathernecks Moms, after her eldest son joined the Marine Corps. While holding different roles across multiple service groups, Marge still declared her favorite titles to be wife, mom, and grandma. Marge's service as a pillar of the community has not gone unnoticed, and the people of Hempstead Town deem her worthy of being declared a 2021 Pathfinder honoree. <laughs> Ms. Rosalie Norton. Well, Gotham City has Batman, Metropoli <laughs> Metropolis has Superman, and West Hempstead has our next Pathfinder honoree, Rosalie Norton. <laughs> Miss Norton is no stranger to our local community and has made waves in fighting for the suburban quality of life that we all enjoy in America's largest township. 
Serving as president of the West Hempstead Community Support Association for nearly a quarter of a century, Rosalie's accomplishments are well known and applauded by the town she has called home for more than five decades. One of her biggest achievements was serving as the driving force behind the removal of the Courtesy Hotel in West Hempstead, a crime-ridden building that brought prostitution and drugs to the area. In its place, an apartment building was constructed that attracts young professionals and new families. Additionally, during her tenure as civic president, Rosalie was instrumental in obtaining a steel beam from the wreckage of the World Trade Center to be made into a monument at Halls Pond Park. Though she has hung up the mantle of presidency, Rosalie Norton remains a tried and true advocate who has all of her local elected officials on speed dial. She can retire from an organization, but she will never be able to retire as the voice of a community. For her dedication in fighting for quality improvements for her community, the town of Hempstead is certainly proud to award Rosalie Norton with the 2021 Pathfinder Award. <laughs> Eleanor Walsh is an esteemed member of the Levittown community. She is involved and assures her surrounding peers that they are welcomed. Speaking of which, she is heavily involved at St. Bernard's Roman Catholic Church, where she is part of the welcoming committee that entails giving tours to new members of the church and ensuring hospitality. Eleanor is a Eucharistic minister and takes part in the consolation committee as well, which helps mourning families and assists them through the grieving process. She is an upstanding member of the Kiwanis Club that holds luncheons for the clergy and priesthood of the church. Also part of Kiwanis, the Terrific Kid Program, which is near and dear to her heart. It is not academic placed, but star quality based. Eleanor believes that it is important to acknowledge children for their compassionate behavior and upstanding characteristics. She believes children of her neighborhood should be rewarded. Besides the church in Kiwanis, Eleanor is also a member of the Levittown Community Council, an organization that constantly gives back to the community. And just because there are a few hours left in the day, Ms. Walsh is also a Red Hatter. As a member of the Red Hat Society, Eleanor appreciates and honors women all year round. The organization specifically revolves around uplifting and inspiring women approaching 50 years of age and beyond. Eleanor Walsh is a vital member of her community and has played and continues to play the role of an involved member contributing to those in need. We are proud to present Eleanor with the 2021 Town of Hempstead Pathfinder Award. <laughs> Nicole Robinson. It's been a little more than a year since the first case of COVID-19 was discovered in Hempstead Town. And although we have all deftly adapted to the new normal, our CSEA Local 880 workforce has gone above and beyond the call of duty in serving the residents of America's largest township. Today we are honored to recognize one outstanding employee whose commitment to Hempstead Town residents has never faltered despite the hardships of COVID-19 and a lifelong battle against multiple sclerosis. Nicole Robinson has been a diligent employee of the town clerk's office for nearly two decades. Working in the registrar office, Nicole has a handle on all birth and death certificates that pass through the town of Hempstead. It is unfortunate to say that half of her workload had increased drastically as a result of the fatalities from COVID-19. Nicole saw firsthand the morbid reality of this virus as she continued to issue death certificates and to get the job done as an essential employee. No stranger to, to a daily challenge, Nicole has contended with multiple sclerosis nearly all her life. Instead of succumbing to daily pain, Nicole instead used her disease as a springboard to advocate for the multiple sclerosis community. What's more, Nicole continuously spreads awareness about the disease and has personally helped others struggling with MS find clarity by serving as a listening ear and constructive mentor. For her unrelenting service to Hempstead Town residents and her inspirational advocacy for multiple sclerosis community, the Town of Hempstead is proud to award Nicole, Parab Nicole Robinson with the 2021 Angie M. Cullen Pathfinder Award. And now it gives me great pleasure to welcome and introduce our esteemed receiver of taxes, Janine Driscoll, who will offer closing remarks for today's ceremony. 
Well, it's such an honor to be here today. It was my first Pathfinder ceremony as a receiver of taxes, and it's so great to see everybody in person. Um, hopefully next year we'll see smiles instead of masks, but we're getting there. Um, I have had, uh, I've worked in private and public uh, jobs, and at all during the course of all those years, I've met many women uh, who really were empowered and truly were trailblazers. Right now, my position allows me, uh, you know, I am so blessed to be working with Town Clerk Kate Murray and Senior Councilwoman Dorothy Goosby. Uh, every day, you know, I'm grateful for the experience that they give me and the great advice that they also give me. Um, the superhero qualities in the women here today are certainly uh, reflected in these unbelievable biographies that we just heard. Congratulations again to Shira, to Shante, Donna, Margaret, Rosalie, Eleanor, and Nicole, our 2021 Pathfinder Award winners. Thank you all for joining us today and for all your hard work and dedication to improving communities across America's greatest and largest township. Um, though we're all, you know, we were unable to host it in 2020, we're happy to be back in the capacity that we're back today. We're socially distant, we're together, we look healthy, and we are moving forward. Uh, hopefully next year everything is back to normal with our ceremony. Um, the brighter days are ahead, and we are hopeful that we can gather here together and celebrate our wonderful women in the town of Hempstead. For the viewers watching at home, thank you so much for watching the 2021 Town of Hempstead uh, Pathfinder Award Ceremony. Be safe and be well, and we will be seeing you during the course of the next year. Thank you, everybody.